I'm Frida Johansson and I'm 15 years old. Coming fall and semester, I'm starting secondary school with a major in science and music. And today's class is about how math and physics fits with music. So today I'm going to talk about the Pythagorean fifth circle and Pythagoras comma. So what is a fifth circle? The fifth circle works like a clock. It has one to 12 tones. It consists of two pitches, major and minor keys. And the minor keys is the corresponding key signatures to the major keys. But what's the meaning of the corresponding key signatures? Well, A minor is one and a half semitone lower than C major, for example. And by increasing fifths, or more specifically, continuing five semitones clockwise from the top of the circle, the, C, the key of C has no charts or flats, walking from C, C, D, E, F, G. G has uh, one sharp, and D has two sharps, and so on. But Pythagoras discovered that there was a problem in the system. 12 fifths above each other should be the same as seven octaves on top of each other, but it's not. It's a little delta, it's a little interval, it's a little difference. And that difference is called a Pythagorean comma. And the frequency ratio for a perfect fifth is three divided by two, three to two, or one and a half. It's all the same, but you could spell it in different ways. And if we're multiplying 12 fifths with each other, the answer is 129.7463. And if we're multiplying seven octaves on top of each other, you know an octave has the frequency ratio two, or two divided by one, it's the same. The answer is 128. This small delta here, this small difference between 129.7463 and 128 is Pythagoras comma. So as you see in this calculation, seven octaves is not the same as 12 fifths. And Pythagoras comma could even be defined as a small difference between two unharmonically equivalent notes, like C and B sharp or D flat and C sharp. And this ratio could be calculated as that seven octaves removes from 12 fifths like this. Three divided by two raised to 12 divided by two raised to seven equals three raised to 12 divided by two raised to 19 equals 531,441 divided by 524,002. 188 equals 1.01364. And if you want to write it in an easier way, you could write it in cents. But first you have to know that an octave has 1,200 cents. So 1,200 1, times logarithm 2, 531,441 uh, with 524,288, which becomes 24 cents. The Pythagorean comma causes a 12-pointed star to fail to close. And the 12-pointed star represents the Pythagorean scale. And each line in 12-pointed star represents a just perfect fifth. And that small gap here has a central angle of 7.038 degrees. But how do you calculate this? Well, this angle of ruling 7 degrees is 23.46% of 30 degrees. And how do you know the gap has 30 degrees? Well, it's pretty logical actually. If you divide the whole circle's de degrees, which, which is 360, with the 12 tones, the simple answer is 30 degrees. And if you are a tuner, you are dealing with the Pythagorean comma, because you have to understand this small delta between seven octaves and 12 just perfect fifths. All right, thank you for watching this and I hope you all enjoyed it. Bye.